Next question is from Christian Lynch 1084. What are some good glute exercises to add my to my leg day to give me a dump truck? <laughs> dump, <laughs> dump truck. Yeah. That, I wow. mean, uh, that we don't already have in all of our programming, yeah. or that I mean, because uh, well, here I'll, well, let's let's need a refresher. Course yeah, let's here. list some yeah. of the best butt exercises. Hip thrusts are really good. Yeah. Uh, barbell squats are really good. Deadlifts are really good. Single leg Bulgarian deadlifts, split squats. Yeah, really good. You know, sumo deadlifts. Yeah, I like. You know, I tell you, you know, I've good been, mornings. I've been doing hip thrusts now a little bit more consistently, and man. It really, you're a big hip thrust guy it, now. Yeah, yeah, it really pumps my glutes up like crazy. Well, I'll take the power version of that with a, like a heavy kettlebell sw swing as well. You know, you can get creative with that, but uh, yeah, it's just a, it's it's varying it to make sure that you know you're you're getting exposure to a lot of different uh, stimulus. I also think we should highlight what's wrong with this question, though. Like that's it's not that simple. It's of not like, right to call it a dump truck. It, well, no, <laughs> that's not what I mean by this. It it, it may also not it's be that you're uh, missing something in your exercise routine is is why you're not building a butt right i mean if that's if you're struggling with that and you've you're trying a lot of the movements we already did it's it may not be like oh it's you're missing the the exercise that yeah. is going to be mm -hmm. a game changer for you there could be something wrong you may have a poor connection to your glutes that's that's more common than than not more often than not i have clients that are just quad dominant because we are everything so forward on us that when they go to do a lot of these movements that the quads are involved with, the quads take over the movement. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. really, really common. So we just listed off a bunch. Now, there's a few of them in there that do a better job, hip thrust being one of them, good mornings that tend to isolate the posterior chain better. But a lot of some of your best butt exercises, there's still some quad in it. And if you're a quad dominant person and you do, you can yeah. do a ton of these exercises, the quads are going to take over the, over the movement and you're not going to build the glutes very much. Yeah. And yeah. you know, in fact, I had a conversation with uh, Doug about this this morning because he was talking about how he's glute dominant. So he's the opposite and he's trying to develop his quads. So he's starting his leg workouts with like quad dominant knee extension kind of based exercises yeah. and then saving the glute stuff for the end. If you're quad dominant, you do the opposite. There's 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 no rule that says you can't start your workout with hip thrusts and with good mornings and then move over to the other exercises like squats. You could totally do that and you'll get more development out of your glutes that way. Well, this is where I have value or find value in those movements that I think we make fun of all the time when you see someone doing the, you know, the little uh, but what do they call kick donkey kicks or yeah. whatever or fire hydrants and these these little body weight leg exercises to isolate the glutes. Well, if that is your reasoning, like if that, if like Doug has, there's lots of value to Doug doing that, or excuse me, not Doug, because Doug's uh, glute opposite, dominant. Yeah. Somebody who's not glute dominant, that's quad dominant, coming in, doing these little isolation exercises to to feel in their butt and to get a little pump in there, and to, then to go prime do, it ahead of time. Yeah, then yeah. go do squats, then go mm -hmm. do deadlifts. That makes a lot of sense to do that, not to fatigue the glutes in that type of a movement, but to get better activation and a pump there before you go do the big lifts.